Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Arlene. I am doing today a product review on the Caloric um, Triple Burner Buffet Set that my mom got me for Christmas, so check it out. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Arlene and I just unboxed one of my Christmas gifts from my mom and it's actually this Caloric Triple Burner Buffet Set. And you can cook with it and just have it as a buffet to keep things warm for the holidays. And these pots are huge. So in this pot right here, I'm just heating up some p delicious pea soup that my mom had made that I'm going to have for lunch. And then when my husband gets home... If he wants any, it'll be on here and it'll be warm. He just has to put it into the bowl. I love pea soup. So that's getting nice and heated up in that pot. I am making a pot roast for dinner tonight in the oven. But in this pot, I am getting ready to boil potatoes for mashed potatoes. So I have this one all the way up on high. And this one is just on warm because so I just want to warm up my soup. But yeah, I'm loving this. It's so pretty. It's all stainless steel. And after the pot roast is done, I do make my pot roast in my Temptations, like ceramic, um, what do you call it? Like roasting pan. But you cannot put that onto the stove to then make the gravy. So what I'm going to do is transfer all the liquid, the drippings from the pot roast and the onions that brown around it into this pan and heat it up and make my gravy. So these pans can also be used on my regular stove over here. But yeah, you could, like I said, you can cook in each one or just use it as a buffet, especially if there's if you're having a party or you're having you know your holiday, uh, you know Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. You're having a nice brunch. You can keep your scrambled eggs. You can keep your sausage. You can keep oatmeal if you wanted to make oatmeal. You could keep everything nice and warm. You could make soup in here and just keep it on the counter for, for your family to come in and take it whenever they want. But I am loving it. So nice. Again, it's from Caloric Triple Burner Buffet Set. And this, um, they do actually have a lot of recipes in the back that you could make. And yeah, so I just unboxed it. I just set it up and I'm taking it for a, for a test drive. So I want to see how long it takes for it to um, boil my water so I can make my mashed potatoes. Then once I'm going to mash them right in there and then just keep it on the burner to keep them nice and warm. After I slice my roast beef on my slicing machine, I can always add that to the other one and then keep this one for the gravy or do the vegetable in this one once I, we're done with the soup for lunch because the roast beef is going to be for dinner so I could have the mashed potatoes the gravy and the vegetable and just have the meat on the side and when you put the hot gravy on it the meat will be fine I really don't like heating up roast beef you know because my husband if I make it now and make his plate he'll heat it up because then the roast beef doesn't stay nice and rare it gets too overcooked when you reheat it in the microwave. So this is the perfect solution. Keep the roast beef nice and rare on the side. You could put it on the plate, put some nice hot gravy on it, which will warm up the roast beef. You have your vegetable and you have your mashed potatoes. Absolutely perfect. So I'll just show you later on. Um, everything's set up for dinner. And yeah, I'm loving it. Thanks, Mom. And she did get it, I believe she said HSN. 
she's addicted to QVC and HSN. So it was either QVC or HSN, but most likely HSN. But yeah, it's super beautiful. Looks really pretty. Would look gorgeous on any buffet table. And um, yeah, I'm loving it. So excited. All right, so I have my roast beef prepped with salt and fresh black cracked pepper and a little bit of garlic. And I have one uh, large onion cut up around it with a little bit of water. And I'm going to put this in the oven on 375 for about 45 minutes, 50 minutes. I want it nice and rare in the middle. And um, while I have that in the oven, I'm, I'm going to make my husband some brownies. And it's been about 15 minutes, and look how nice the potatoes are boiling. So it does heat up very quickly. I'm happy about that. So we'll just leave this lid on until these potatoes cook thoroughly, and then I will be making the mashed potatoes. So my mashed potatoes are done. They came out absolutely delicious. I did not make them diet, that's for sure. I only put salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, half and half, and butter. And they came out super delicious. And I mashed them right inside the pot. And I put the pot back onto the burner. And I have it on the lowest, lowest setting so that they just stay nice and warm. So I'm going to uh, put this pea soup. My husband doesn't want any. I'm going to put it into a Tupperware, wash this. So I have this for the vegetable and then this for the gravy when it's time to make the gravy. All right, so I put all the drippings from the roast beef and then added some more water and built beef bouillon. There is my roast beef done. Hopefully it's nice and rare in the middle, which I think it will be. So I'm going to let that rest before I slice it. So I'm just bringing that to a boil. And I always do put some gravy master inside of my brown gravy when I make it homemade. Gives it a nice dark rich color. So here I'm just adding um, my slurry of flour and water mixed. And I'm just going to keep adding it until the gravy gets nice and thick like I like it. And that's all the gravy is, is the drippings. It is some beef, nor beef bouillon, and the onions, and the gravy master, and it came out so delicious, you guys. Add a little bit more slurry. I want it a little bit thicker. I'm doing a voiceover, because my husband was, um watching TV and the cats and the dogs were fighting and I just didn't want all that noise in the background. So as you can see, my gravy is getting nice and thick. My mashed potatoes are nice and warm. And then I have um, a bag of frozen corn with just some water getting hot. So I sliced my roast beef on my slicing machine. Look how nice and thin it came out. Absolutely gorgeous. Nice and rare. I'm going to cover it with some tin foil. Leave that to the side. The gravy's nice and thick. The mashed potatoes. The corn's nice and heated. And yeah, so when we want to eat, that's all we have to do is make our plates. And I'm super, super happy. I'm loving this... Um, what do you call it? This buffet, I'm giving it a huge thumbs up. I would recommend it for anybody. It heats up super quick, keeps things wonderfully warm, and it cooks. So it's like a triple threat. <laughs> and it's it, I just love the way it looks as well. It's all stainless steel. So yeah, so that's my little video for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's caloric, and you can get it from HSN um, or QVC. Have a great day. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell. And if you like this buffet, please give it a thumbs up. Bye-bye.